Hopefully I don't get poked. 30,000 quills is making this tricky. I don't want to be saddled with any one of them. Michelle tries first to warm Snickers up to her touch. Can I just feel, would you let me? When you part those long guard hairs out of the way, I can just feel the tips of all those quills. As long as he stays still, woo! <laughs> so I can feel all those quills just scratching me. Snickers seems to be okay with the petting. Now it's time to go below the belt. Very carefully. That's how you determine the sex of porcupine. I'm gonna get personal. Hope I don't get pooped on. Oh, wow. So, Mike, I think it's a she, actually, oh, just as she was going this way. It looked like a vulva. Wow, that's really? Yeah. It may come as a shock to Mike, but I'm not seeing any boy bits at this point. So I'm gonna try and get a better look here. We may still have a flashlight or a headlamp. Here's a light on this. I don't know if that'll help. Thanks. Try and see if you can lead her that way. A lot of times their testicles will be kind of up in their abdomen and it's not as obvious as, say, a, a dog. I'm trying to see if there's any boy business there. It looks like a vulva, but they're a little hard to tell. Maya, can you come down here and hold this? Come on down here. You're gonna have to see what I'm seeing here to know where to point it. <laughs> I can't tell for sure what it is at this point. This just looks like a whole bunch of skin and folds, so I'm gonna have to sneak under there and give a feel. The tail is one of the most dangerous parts of a porcupine sporting up to 150 quills per square inch. Watch it. <laughs> Ew, that's interesting. I feel testicles. Oh, do you? Yeah, so. Back to being a boy. He's a boy. It's a boy. He's like, oh, inappropriate. 